up guys master styles here bringing you another episode in the no money spent series and today we got us a good one today and today i'm gonna also do a summary of the last month and first off we're gonna start out with picking up our boy teresh like i said in the last episode we were gonna pick him up i'm glad to see that it's his banner so we're gonna go straight into it not gonna waste too much of your time Let's see how we do. So first 10 there, nothing there. Wish there would have been a better elite again, nothing. So you know how it goes. If you don't get it at 30 or 20, high chances that you're gonna have to go all the way to pity. And Teresh is here. So welcome him to the squad. He has a strength and he also has a weakness, but we'll go more over that later on in the video. So I need another 20 to pick up the gene hybrid, like I told you, and also to get the extra copy of Teresh. So as you can see there, we are gonna go through, collect what we need to, and just go a little bit of, over what we've done over the past month. As you can see, there's a lot of triple S heroes that we need that we don't even have yet. I haven't spent a dime, but here, we go, we're going back into the summons. I started to record this late, but I did end up getting those extra 20 tickets and I went for Sif's banner and we actually ended up getting an extra copy of her. She is going to go a long way because we need to get her to an EX20 so we can finally turn Gobo's attacks into AOE or the slam on the ground that knocks the enemies in the air. So let's pick up our extra copy of Teresh here, which is great. I wanted Teresh. I'm happy that, you know, his banner did go live when we caught up to the game. So we're gonna use our copy of Sif here to bring her to the next level and also level up Teresh. Now, the reason why I didn't use the extra gene hybrid on Teresh here is because it's more beneficial for Sif to have the extra gene hybrid. And this is one of the things you need to think about too when you're playing this game. You wanna make sure you get the most for using these gene hybrids because they are hard to come by if you spend money on the game obviously it's going to be easier for you to attain gene hybrids but when you're doing a free-to-play account it's a little bit more harder to get that resource so you want to make sure you put it on a character that is going to give you the best value for your return and here bringing her to ex20 is the better move because she'll end up ultimately doing more damage when there's more targets so let's go and see what we've done over the past month and look at each stage to see how far we progress so here we have wasteland we already beat it 10 times so we can auto clear it i wish they had auto clear in a lot of some of these stages because it's very redundant having to do these stages over and over again so here i like this because it's a good place to pick up red drones sadly they didn't have any today but we got the purple ones so next we're gonna go into pvp which i'll take a look at the team as you can see i'm going to get promoted to legendary fighter and the thing is with legendary fighter you're gonna need a fourth team which is gonna end up hurting us anyways because we don't really have five other good heroes so i'm gonna have to think outside the box in making a new team but let's just check out the team here I have to use what I have available. So as you can see here, we have Teresh with Leo. I'm also running a mini summer team here. I don't have Dorelli. I wish that I would have got a chance to pick her up. And here I'm running the energy team. I am gonna swap out someone here, but at the same time, I was just trying to see who I could put in there. And this team right here is mainly the throwaway team. I win off of the first two, so I don't really necessarily care who's really in here anyways, but it is the same team that I do use in Galactic Arena. And let's just step over to Galactic Arena here. I'm not really caring about too much about the ranking. Obviously, you can tell that I don't even really change the team and I'll make that adjustment here. 
but generally I just attack the lowest one because there's really not much you can really get in terms of, you know, the rewards after two weeks. That's merely it. Ranking doesn't really matter here unless you're in a higher tier. Other than that, it really doesn't matter. I just come in, I do the five fights, and then I keep pushing because as you can see there, one of the teams wasn't even using a commander and I didn't even know that. And we still win. So let's go over here to the arena team. The rank 12 doesn't really matter here either. Same thing. But I just wanted to show you the team that I'm running. And here we have Leo with Teresh and also three other summoners. The reason why I'm really using Senwe here is because I put the realm set on Senwe where Shadow, once he's summoned, he does 40% damage to summoners. So for me, him being in there is very valuable. As you can see, we clearly quickly wipe them out by Senwe is a part of the team because when they're ready summoners, I just pull out Senwe and he does a lot of damage to them. And he was the main damage dealer. The one regret I do have is not picking up Ares. Ares is good down here at low levels, but as you can see here, I can clear level 15 and I would need Miranda to try EX1. And same thing here, I can clear level 15 on these caves. I need the better hero. I am not picking up a Zena because I'm not going to invest in her. I have yet to clear 15 for this one. When I do, I will go for a copy of Bailey. He will help. Obviously, he's not the best assassin, but he would help. Here, I'm on level 5. I need to clear level 6 because I need those resources to level up my heroes. In Katojian Triangle, I pretty much clear level 1 of all of the stages. Yes, I said they were hard, but at the same time, my heroes levels was lower. So some of them I can't beat, but you know, I have cleared level one at each and every one of these stages. I just have to continue to build out my heroes and level them. So now it gets to a point where, what do I do next? You know, I've beaten most of the content in the game. I'm not mid game yet. I'm still early game and here I also be in hard to the point where I got all the rewards and I'll get those rewards on Monday here I'm halfway through this I don't really play it that much as if I don't have anything else to do I'll do it because the rewards are okay they're not the greatest rewards and soul mine I'm at level 300 only reason why I'm leaving this high was because I needed those soul rubelites, so I had to farm just to get my heroes to get past that threshold of 180. And as you can see here, I have Sif already almost ready to break through the next barrier, which is 200, and then above that is 220, and then you can go to 240 all the way. So. Let's go through here, do this real quick. Got nothing good, have yet to get anything yet. But you know, it's free resources. I'm not gonna pass up on that. Let's go into the store. I love to do this. This is where I pick up my runes. And you know, it could be a race of diamonds, but for me, I'm like, these resources are going to help over time, especially these red runes. I'm telling you right now, whenever chance you get, pick up red runes you want to make sure you pick them up and I'm just going through here to see what we they need to change the guild shop they need to add more things so it's not enough just going through to see what we can get I am gonna pick up those extra 10 astro tickets and you know that's how far I've been in the game so I've already started to save for the next hero I don't know what the banner is going to be for the other hero, but I know that it's going to be a hunter for the new character. So now I'm going to take you into Twilight Lands and I'm going to give you a guide in a sense. So here, I cannot beat that summoner boss there and definitely don't have any good assassins, so I wouldn't want to 
try to go after this boss. So here I'm going to attack the generalist boss here and I completely forgot that you were supposed to do generalist here but I wanted to test out how much damage my main team could do which is pretty much the same team I use in arena and I got lucky on one of these Hagridons and I got Teresh 2 for his ultimate but I generally focus more on the damage dealer so we're gonna go through this one real quick and see because I wanted to see how much damage we can do and if we end up losing anyone so let's get to it I have to turn off Daniel's alt here because he only focuses on one instead of dropping it in the center to do more damage throwing Teresh throwing Leo in the back Leo's still so squishy and here I think my whole team's about to get wiped out which you shouldn't let happen because you're doing a test and of course Gobo's still alive so I was still in the clear so let's try it again maybe bring in a healer might be the key because if I take out Leo yes Thresh can take more damage but I have to remember that Thresh throw somebody in the back line and I don't want any of these characters here to be thrown in the back line so I have to keep Leo in and position Gobo right in the center so they can focus on Gobo and Daniel needs to be in the second row so you can reach the boss in the back. These are the things that, you know, once you figure it out, you can make those adjustments going forward. And I think, you know, when it comes to Twilight Lands, if you're struggling, you're gonna have to continuously test and do different things to see what works. I had to go back again, because I'm like, you know what? It's not working. I have to try something else this time. I I'm going to speed it up here because I wanted to test it again just to see if the RNG would be in my favor. And I was also thinking about suiciding them off and just attacking the boss after this. But then towards the end here, I realized that we didn't kill the other elite. So I was like, you know what? Let's just scrap it and start all over. And this is when... I remember that if you use five different class set of heroes, damage cannot exceed more than 30% of your health. And I was also thinking that, you know, once you use your main team, most people have two or three teams. Once you go through that, it's just pretty much what's left over. I was trying to do that from the beginning to see if we can do more damage from the get go to just make sure that, you know, we clear this one because we only have four days left in Twilight Lands and you wanna go as deep as you can so you can make a better ranking and get better rewards. If you have any questions about Twilight Lands or anything in this game, comment down below and I'll cover it in the next video. And here, I speeded it up because I wanted to see how well they would do with having the generalist bonus activated and you see they're surviving for a lot longer so let's go back again and put in the main team but this time I'll take out Daniel and put Taylor and what's his name I am blanking on his name Teresh and Taylor in here because I can't use any other summoners because I already have a summoner in there which made it easier now that the generalist bond is activated and for this I wish they would change this I don't like that you can't turn off auto battle before the battle starts this is an update that's way overdue it's very frustrating because there as you can see Teresh he got interrupted in doing his ultimate because while he's doing his ultimate if he throws somebody, it completely stops it. So this team did a lot better because their survivability went up because they weren't taking that big AOE damage. And like I said, if you're liking this series, you already know what to do. 
I appreciate each and every one of y'all for supporting this series, subscribing, watching the videos, commenting. I love all of that. That's what keeps me going. That's what makes me want to continue to make this content. And like I said, I need more people commenting about what they're struggling with. So now going forward that we're locked in with pretty much the regular banners that my main account's going to get, I kind of want to make more content around either the no money spent or my main account to help out you guys because if you're subscribed to me as i promised i'm here to help you and if you're not telling me what's going on with you i will continue to make content but i would rather to make content for you guys that take the time out of your day to subscribe to my channel and i appreciate you guys for that so here we're gonna clear this one we ended up losing Leo, of course. I don't understand why Leo is so squishy. And it was much better. So if you're attacking the generalist bond, you know that you need five different heroes that are from a different class or faction, whatever you want to call it. So here, it's just one-on-one -on -one against the boss. It's easy. And we pretty much cleared it. So if you like content like this, you already know what to do. If you're a supporter of the no money spent slash free to play, just know that the series isn't over yet. I'm just thinking about where we go from here. And without further ado, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Until the next one, peace.